Hello, this is Heather at Pioneer Bee Company and Homestead. Today we're going to be working on finishing up our fence. We've just got a few more poles to put in the ground and then possibly we'll be getting to the part where we stretch the wire, which is really exciting because that's the final step and our fence will be done. First I want to show you some of the seeds I've started here on my front porch for our fall garden. So normally I would just direct sow these uh, seeds for the fall garden. It's a bunch of greens and pumpkins. I would normally just direct sow those into the ground, but we don't have a, a garden bed prepared yet for our fall garden. I'm thinking I want to build some raised beds in the backyard where we have the most sunlight. Um, but like I said, I don't have those ready yet. And then our pumpkins, our pumpkins are going in the front yard this year and we got to get that spot prepared as well but uh, let me show you what I've started on so far. I ran out of these containers, so I started using some egg crates that we had saved up. So I've got romaine lettuce, bib lettuce, spinach, collards, and even pumpkins I went ahead and started just so I could get a jump start. Um, since we don't have that bed ready yet, I wanted to go ahead and get a jump start on growing the pumpkins. Hopefully they'll be ready by Halloween. Maybe not, but if not, that's okay too. But you can see, I just, it's Saturday today. I planted these Wednesday. And already, the kale is popping up really well. Some of the spinach is popping up. The mixed greens are popping up. And the only concern I have is since I ran out of containers, I had to use some of the styrofoam and plastic egg crates. I'm not sure how I'm gonna pop those out and plant them. The cardboard I can just cut up and stick the whole thing in the ground. But, I don't know. Should be interesting. What are you doing? Just looking. Did we kill any hive beetles? No, we killed everything else. Any bees? Uh, yellow jackets. Well, that's okay. This is part of our hive beetle control system. You ready? You ready to go put some posts in the ground? <laughs> <laughs> So the biggest issue with our fence so far has been right here at this one corner of our house. They um, over poured the foundation so there's like a four inch layer of concrete right there that we're trying to break through just so we can get deep enough to put a post in. So our cordless drill couldn't hang. We're switching to the good, reliable Ryobi. power drill that we've had for about 15 years now. Fail number two, the tip is gone. <laughs> okay, here's what makes me the most excited to put up a new fence around our backyard. We get to tear down this janky fence that came with the property. You see it goes, I don't know if I can get a good shot of it, but whoever put it up, they tried their best, bless their heart, <laughs> and it does the job. It keeps our little dog in the backyard, but it's basically just wired from tree to tree. Let's see if I can get a good shot of it. It's fallen down in a lot of spots and we repaired it just to keep our little dog in. Um, but it's terrible. It's terrible. I can't wait to pull it down. It's ugly. Um, it's just janky. Janky, janky. We might need a nap after this. This is hard. <laughs> Literally. So we got a hive it looks like it's about to swarm. That's what they're pouring out and swirling upwards.
They are definitely swarming. We broke through the concrete. We're digging a hole for our last post. This doesn't really look like a swarm to me. They're not really flying up. They're flying into the hive. And this hive is not full enough to beard like that. So I have a feeling maybe the swarm we just saw is coming over here. But this one already had a queen in it. So I'm not sure. You guys, it is very frustrating to be a beekeeper sometimes. Got the quick creed in. Now we're just filling up the hole with water. So we got that last post in and our next step is going to be pulling wire. We're going to save that for another day. Uh, we're going to finish this day out cutting the grass and weeding and getting our yard looking nice. Um, I have many beekeeping videos planned for the future. So if you like this kind of stuff, subscribe. If you like this video, hit the like button and share. And thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us. Happy beekeeping.